Hi, my name is Jake Kurth. Today we're going to be going over a little bit about the overview of the Leeds SpectraVision system software. Leeds Vision is essentially defined into four different areas in the user interface. You have the main window, which is in the center of the display, which will either display a live image or captured image. You have your control tab on the right hand side, or I should say usually on the right hand side, which controls all the individual elements of the Leeds Vision system. So for example, we have our capture button here, you have your camera control, your lens control, your preset controls, as well as your light and filter controls. On the upper left hand portion of the screen, you'll have your annotation tools. These are the tools that will allow you to draw arrows, make circles, and do angles and polygons. To edit these annotations, you'll use the Properties tab, which is a collapsible tab on the bottom of the screen. The Properties tab allows you to change line thickness, color of font, color of text, transparencies. It also lets you choose, depending on which annotation you've selected, what types of measurements pop up. So for example, in this case, we're uncalibrated, but if I only wanted to have it display the degree of angle, I would simply turn off the line length. Captured images are captured via a tab system at the up left-hand portion of the screen that walks its way from left to right. So whenever I capture an image, it generates a new capture on the window on the upper left-hand portion of the screen. What you'll notice is that the image data or the image metadata has now replaced the control of the LSV2 system. So on my live image, I have all my control features. On a captured image, I have the metadata of how that image was captured down to the specific stepper positions of each motor for all of the lens elements, such as the focus, zoom, aperture. Additionally, you have the light and filter labels within this image data, so at a glance you can know what conditions you used for both the light and filter to capture an image. Comparison images are similar to this, except that instead of just displaying the metadata for both images, it displays the metadata for the image that you've selected. So right now you can see that I've selected this on the left hand side by this orange bounding box that surrounds the image. When I choose the right hand side, you'll see that the metadata has updated to have the blue light with the orange filter. This allows you to very quickly, still even in comparison images, know exactly what conditions were when you captured your picture. Hopefully this tutorial has been helpful walkthrough for the layout of the Leeds Vision software. Thanks for watching. I'm Jake Kurth with Leeds.